Hello everybody, Interitator back again in another video. Alright guys, today's video is going to be about Novak Djokovic who just went through to his 47 Grand Slam semi-final in his career against Taylor Fritz uh, in three straight sets. Are we surprised? Are we shocked? Did we expect this? Of course, we all expected this. Of course, Taylor Fritz would lose against Novak Djokovic for the nine, for the eight consecutive times. We all knew that the head-to-head -head was seven love in Novak's favor. Now the head-to-head -head is eight love in Novak's favor. And let's be honest, my tennis friends all around the world, I thought that Taylor would would, would win one set before this match started. He didn't do even that. And I'm going to be honest with you, my tennis friends all around the world. When I saw the first set, that was one of the worst sets that I've ever seen in my life in tennis. I, I mean it, my tennis friends all around the world. I really mean it. That was an ugly first set to watch. Especially from Taylor Fritz's performance. But from Novak's as well. But mostly from Taylor Fritz's racket my dear god he just pushed that santa claus button he just said to novak djokovic you know what novak i can't wait till december i want to i want to celebrate christmas in september please novak just through to, give me your santa claus hat give me and novak he just said here you got it taylor i'm sending it to you just take it my friend take the santa claus hat and Taylor, he got that Santa Claus hat. He was not satisfied. He said to Novak, give me one more. I want two. One Santa Claus hat is not enough. Give me one more. And Novak said, oh yeah, baby. Take one more. Just take it. And Taylor said, now I'm satisfied. Or do you want me to say what he did in the first set, Taylor Fritz? Oh, baby, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Just wait. 19 Anfosteros and 4 winners. Taylor Fritz did in the first set 15 more Anfosteros than winners. If you don't call that celebrating Christmas early, I don't know what you guys call it. I don't know what you guys call it. I definitely call that to celebrate Christmas early. Djokovic on the other hand, he was not in beast mode level. He was not in great mode level. He was not. He was in average mode level in that first set. He did only six winners and 11 unforsteros. He does five more unforsteros than winners. But Taylor, 15 more unforsteros than winners. 15. All in all, that first set was a bad set from both the players. But the player who played less bad won it, which was, of course, Djokovic. Even the service department was not good. Both of the players were landing under 50% first service in. Djokovic was landing 46% first service in in that first set. Taylor was landing 43% first service in. Both of them won 67% of, behind, of the points behind their first serve. I'm talking about the first set now. 67%, so they, they were even Steven there. But the difference was winning points behind second serve. Then Djokovic was eating Taylor Fritz second serve like breakfast. Taylor won only 19% behind his second serve in the first set. Djokovic did a much better job there in winning 50% of, of his second serves in the first set. Uh, so, neither of the players uh, did a good first set. It was a disaster first set from Taylor Fritz. It was a Santa Claus first set from Taylor Fritz. It was a bad first set from, from Novak Djokovic. If some of you guys have not seen the match, which probably some of you haven't, and when you see, the, and when they see the score, because it is very, very easy to be fooled. When you see the score, oh, Nova gave Taylor a breadstick in the first set, six-one. 
And some of you maybe think he steamrolled Taylor Fritz in the first set. He crushed Taylor Fritz in the first set. No, baby, he didn't. It was Taylor who steamrolled himself. It was Taylor who crushed himself in that first set. And not Djokovic who crushed him. Djokovic actually did his worst set in the first set. And despite that, and he won that 6-1. He did, are you hearing what I'm saying? Djokovic did his worst set in the entire match in the first set and he won that six set 6-1. Six Djokovic did much better sets both in the second and the third, especially the second. Those two sets were, were much closer. And you now ask why. Because Taylor raised his level in the second and the third set. That's why. He gave Djokovic a run for his money in the second and the third set. Which definitely was not the case in the first. Taylor was beating himself in the first set. It was not Djokovic who beat him. So, that first set is one of the worst sets I've ever seen a tennis player perform. Uh, and that, and that, that, that disastrous first set came from Taylor Fritz. Uh, even Djokovic should not be happy with his first set. He really should not. So we go on to analyze this match. The second set was much better from both from both players. Uh, they both started to to serve higher percentage first serve in in the second set because it, it is impossible doing a worse set than they did in the first. It is it is impossible. Uh, you can't play worse tennis than they did in the first set, especially Taylor. Taylor can't. He can't play worse tennis than he did in the first set. And obviously he didn't. He raised his level in the second set, Taylor Fritz, uh, started to, to land more first serves in. Uh, he landed, it was still not enough, but at least it was more than he did in the first set. He landed 58% first serves in uh, Taylor Fritz in the second set. Uh, still too little, according to me, when you're facing one of the greatest server turner of all time, if not the greatest server turner of all time. Not, he is the greatest server turner of all time. Uh, but Djokovic was still outmatching him in the serving department. He lands 71% first of sin, Novak Djokovic in that second set. Uh, in, in the uh, Amphrosteros and the winners department, even there, they raised their level much more than they, than, than, than they had in the first set. Taylor did 15 winners in, that, in the second set and 14 Amphrosteros. So it was, he did one more winner than Amphrosteros. Djokovic also raised his level with 12 winners and 7 Amphrosteros in the second set. So Djokovic does 5 more winners than, than Amphrosteros in the second set. So, of course, they will raise their level. They are, for God's sakes, after all, professional tennis players, and both of them are top 10 players in the world, and one of them, one of the greatest tennis players of all time, if not the greatest, te not, not, no, if not, he is the greatest tennis, tennis player of all time, Novak Djokovic, so he will not do the same kind of a bad set like he did in the first set, Djokovic. So Djokovic raised his level in the second set, and also Taylor Fritz raised his level in the second set. But despite that, Djokovic was the better player. Uh, at least he was the more clutch player in the second set, Djokovic. Because if you look at the breakpoints conversions in the second set, Taylor actually had four breakpoint opportunities in the second set. Didn't convert in any of them. Djokovic had only one breakpoint opportunity in the second set. He converted it in only that he had. In only that one he had. And won that second set 6-4. He outclutched Taylor in that second set because Taylor actually uh, created more break much opportunities in that second set than, than Djokovic. And then the third set, uh, they still played better than the first, of course, but not as good as they did in the second. Uh, neither of them. Uh, Djokovic, he lands 62% per serve sin in the third set. Taylor did his best serving percentage, did his best serving. Uh, he lands the most, serve, most first serves in, in the entire match in the third set with, 62, with 63% in landing first serves. 
uh, Taylor Fritz. Uh, and when, when it comes to uh, uh, winners and Fosteros department, Djokovic does seven winners only and eight Anfosteros, so he's in negative ratio there with one more Anfostero than winner. Taylor Fritz is even worse with 18 Anfosteros and 14 winners, so Taylor Fritz does four more Anfosteros than winners. So, but even in that set, Taylor Fritz creates a lot of breakpoint opportunities. He creates six breakpoint opportunities and he converts in only one of the, those six breakpoint opportunities. Djokovic is much clutcher in that third set as well. He, Djokovic creates three breakpoint opportunities in that third set uh, and he converts in two of them. So Djokovic outclutches Taylor Fritz in the third set as well. All in all, Djokovic outclutches Taylor Fritz in the entire match because if you look all the match, Taylor Fritz crea creates uh, 12 breakpoint opportunities and he converts in only two of them. He creates 12 breakpoint opportunities in the entire match and he converts in only two of them. Djokovic, he, con he, he creates 9 breakpoint opportunities, 3 less than Taylor Fritz in the entire match he converts in six of them. So, three, he, he broke Taylor Fritz's serve three times in the first set, one time in the second set, and two times in the third set. Taylor Fritz broke Novak's serve only two times, like I said, one time in the first set, one time in the third set. So all in all, Djokovic is the more clutcher player than Taylor Fritz, is the more clear player than Taylor Fritz, is the more consistent player than Taylor Fritz, is the more solid player than Taylor Fritz. If you look all the numbers, all the stats in the entire match, Djokovic does seven winner, seven aces and five double faults. He did a lot of double faults, and all of all those double faults uh, came in the first two sets. Uh, three double faults Joker did in the first set, two double faults Joker did in the second set. He didn't, he didn't do any double faults in the third, uh, no, Jovic. So, Jovic does seven, win seven aces, five double faults, he lands 61% uh, uh, first serve seen, he wins 68% behind his first serve, which is pretty weak to be Novak Jovic. Jovic usually wins over 70% uh, of his points behind his first serve, but that was not the case in this match. He won only 68% of the points behind his first serve. He won 57% he won of the points behind his second serve. Uh, and like I said, he broke uh, Taylor's serve six times out of nine, out of nine break punch opportunities that he had. And did uh, 25 winners all in all in the match and 26 on for So he ends the match with one more unforced error than winner, and uh, in the entire match he wins 101, 102 points in total in the match. Taylor Fritz numbers, how, how, was, how was they? He does 8 aces, 2 double faults, uh, lands 55% first serve seen in the entire match, so he, like I predicted before the match, I didn't think he would land over 60% first serve seen, because he's been landing under 60% first serves the entire tournament in the entire tournament he has not been landing over 60% first serves in the entire tournament tournament and that was the same scenario in this match against Djokovic but he came away in, against the, those other weak dudes in the first four matches let's be honest Taylor Fritz has had a challenger draw the first four matches and that's why he has won all of his matches in four in straight sets and dropped his serve only once in four matches. Against Djokovic, the greatest serve returner of all time, he dropped his serve six times in one match. That says it all by tennis fans all around the world. So Taylor Fritz kept on landing a, 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 a very, very little first serves with 55% first serves in, even in this match against Djokovic, and won. 73% behind his first serve, so he did a better job and than Djokovic, actually. Uh, but, here it comes. Here it comes, my transfers all on the road. Taylor Fritz won 
only 29% behind the second serve. 29%. That is a disaster number in winning points behind the second serve. Compare that with Djokovic who won 57% in the second serve. There, there you have the huge difference in the match. That was a huge, huge difference besides the unforced error winner ratio, which I will come to soon. But this is a huge difference in the match. Winning only 29% behind the second serve, you will not win tennis matches. You will not even win sets, which of course Telefis didn't. So Djokovic outclassed, outclassed Telefitz in winning points behind second serve. And then if you, when you look in Telefitz winners and unforced error stat, that, in, that, in, that, in, that, in that statistic as well, Telefitz was a disaster. Telefitz did 33 winners and 51 unforced errors. So Telefitz does 18 more unforced errors than winners. And he broke Novak's serve two times out of 12 break point chef turns that he had. So he did he was definitely he was definitely not clutch in this match, Taylor Fritz. And all in all in the match, Taylor Fritz wins 81 points. So he wins 21 less more less points than Novak Djokovic in the entire match. Because Djokovic won 102 points. In the all in all, the entire match. That's it, guys. Telefit, he just doesn't have the, the shot tolerance like Djokovic has. He doesn't have the decision making. He does. He's not a good decision maker like Djokovic is. He doesn't have the stamina like Djokovic has. He doesn't have the uh, the. He doesn't have the returns like Djokovic has. That's why jo that's why Taylor Fritz won so bloody little points behind the second serve because Djokovic was killing Taylor's second serve, which which Taylor couldn't do, which Taylor couldn't give the same medicine to Djokovic's second serve. So it is too big of a uh, skill gap here. It is too big of a skill gap. The number doesn't lie. Taylor Fritz has not won against, he has not defeated Djokovic now in eight attempts. It is eight love in the head to head now. Taylor Fritz has not defeated a top 10 player in Grand Slams events in 11 attempts now. He's becoming the new Alexander Sasha Zverev. It took a while for Zverev to, to get his first ever top 10 victory against in Slams which he did that for the first time against Carlos Alcas in last year's French Open, Alexander Sasha Zverev. Uh, now Taylor Fritz is, is going in the same direction as Zverev. In 11 attempts, he has not won against top 10 players in Grand Slams. And that is not a great, great, that is not a good great for Taylor because he himself, he is himself a top 10 player. If he was a top 30 player, top 40 player, outside top 30 in the world ranking, then it, 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 I would understand that stat. But he himself is a top 10 player and has been there for a couple of years now. And he still has not gotten his first ever top 10 victory in a Grand Slam against, uh, in a Grand Slam against top 10 players in 11 attempts. Look, Taylor Fritz, let's be honest, uh, all respect to him, but he is not a great player. He is a solid player, good player, but he is not a great player. He's, he's just not. Uh, yeah, he, he raised his level in the second or third, in the third set, and made this match a little close in the second set and third set, but his first set is one of the weakest sets I have ever seen in my life. Uh, I will be honest with you, my tennis friends all, all around the world. Uh, so, Djokovic was not that great either in the first set, but he was at least uh, a little better than Taylor Fritz, uh, and that's why he won that first set 6-1. Uh, but don't, 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 the, the, the numbers should not fool you, my tennis friends, because 
Uh, even though Djokovic won that first set 6-1, that was his worst set the entire match, Novak Djokovic. Djokovic is through to the semi-final at US Open in 2023 for the 47th time in his career. Uh, I mean, for, he's through for, for, for the 47th time uh, in, uh, in a Grand Slam semi-final in total, not for, not for the 47th time at US Open, obviously. At US Open, he's playing, he's through to, the, to his 13 US Open semi-final uh, in his career, Novak Djokovic. But I was not impressed from either of these dudes. I was not. I will be honest with you, my tennis fans all on the road. Especially not impressed from, from Taylor. But even Djokovic, he didn't play great tennis. He was an average good level Djokovic we saw. Definitely not more than that. Definitely not more than that. So, all right, guys, that's it. I hope you did. If you did, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace.